everybody. Welcome to Entrepreneur Mommy Show. I'm Tiffy T, the resale queen. Hi, I'm Nicole Flamer. How you doing? Hey, so how was your week? My week was um, lackluster. I had dental work done, so <laughs> I'm a little subdued today. <laughs> um, uh, other than that, let me see. I do have some good I'm trying, I'm trying to think this minded. I booked a new client yesterday. That went very well. Um, it was a cleaning client, Airbnb. Um, cleaning so that's a start uh, probably summer, so that's good yeah. uh, what else? um i finished our website <laughs> so, <Yay>! so <laughs> recommend to go to the website soon and get it up um but it's been, i think i think it looks pretty good i'm pretty proud of it so um yeah. that's about it for me this week how about you how was your week this week, um, you know, my new employee came on, so it was uh, following all the regulations of getting a new employee, getting my payroll together, um, sending all the identification stuff and the e-verify that you have to do when you hire employees. So doing that and just um, giving them a vision and um, – explaining you know what what he's what he's going to be doing and so I gave him some metrics of what needs to happen and he seems very on board so he's part-time for right now and sometimes he gets to work from home mm -hmm. which he loves and um it's working out pretty good right now so I'm I'm happy with it. You know, I was actually able okay. to get some more stuff because he's working on things that take time. They're I hate to say that they're not important. They are. They just they're just not money making for me, but they have to be done. So I have him working on that stuff before getting we getting him moved on and or more stuff. So that's been my week. Uh, so. If you've been watching us, um, you probably noticed we've been talking about different progressions of, of being in business. So we both talk about hiring people. And uh, one of the things that I think that gives business people in trouble is when they don't understand some of the laws. Because when you own a business, you have to take your mind frame from being an employee to think like an employer. <laughs> and that's difficult if you're – Especially, this is your first time owning a business, and if you've never had any real management um, training in the past, it it's a it's a new thing to 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 have to worry about in in being a being an entrepreneur mommy or entrepreneur. So, one of the things uh, that we're going to talk about to help you guys out right. is yeah, we're going to talk about uh, illegal interview questions. Um, just so that you guys are aware, I'm only going to bring up the ones that I think get people in trouble that they don't realize that they're not allowed to ask about. And we're going to give you a different version of how to ask that question so that way you don't get in trouble. So we're gonna, what I'm going to do is uh, show you guys this um, uh, presentation really quick. So if you're listening or watching, don't worry about having to write anything down because we have, we will have in our um, description a PDF file. And you can just click on the link and download that PDF. So there we go. Okay. Yeah. All right. So first section is, is about a person's address. You're not permitted to ask someone, do they own their home or they rent? So, what you can ask though is, how no, long have you been in business? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, it's funny because uh, looking at this, I've been asked some illegal questions in my past. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so what you want to ask as as the interviewer is, how long have you been at your current address? That's that's simple enough. And that's normally on like an, any standard application. You can see that. So 
just stay away from trying to get into their business to a point of do you own or do you rent? Technically, that's none of your business. <laughs> yeah. So next section is about age. What's not permitted is what year were you born? When did you graduate high school? Now, you may say, but wait a minute. That's on the application. Yeah. Yes, it's on the application because that has, they have to keep that for tracking purposes. But during an interview, your age should never come up. The only time that, it, mm -hmm. that it's permitted is if a person has to be of a certain legal age requirement for that job which makes sense because if you're going to be a bartender, you can't be 16 years old and pour drinks. All right. So this, this next one, I think, gets people in trouble. And this is about asking about a person's availability. So directly, like, asking can, can a person work on weekends could be seen as a question to see if they have any type of religious observance. And also, especially with uh, female candidates, you want to watch out asking, can you work on work in the evening because of assumptions mm -hmm. that they may have, you know, with childcare and things like that. So what I suggest and what's best known is to advise and ask, uh, these are the days and the shifts that we have available. Are there shifts that you are not available for and shifts that you are available for? That seems to be the better option. That way you're not getting into, oh, I go to church on Sunday, things like that. You can say this is that shift, this is this shift, and are you available to work this particular shift in these particular days? That keeps you in the clear without having to have any problems. So. Next one is a big one, <laughs> pregnancy. You can't, even if a person physically <laughs> looks like they're pregnant, you can't ask them, are you pregnant? When are you doing? Nine months pregnant. And even, I, and I know it sounds <laughs> odd, but like, and you want to, and you may not even be from a stack, uh, a point of, I need to find out if this person's pregnant. It's more of like, they might just be visibly pregnant and you want to be nice about it and say, oh, are you pregnant? You know, or even asking, are you trying to have a family or planning on having a family? That's not, that is none of your business. <laughs> okay. What you want to ask. <laughs> yeah, that's none of your business. You can't ask those type of questions. So the better question to ask is, how long do you plan on staying with us? That lets, gives the interviewee, uh, a good way to say, well, I really plan to be with this company long term, blah, 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 blah. You do not want to ask anything about anyone's uh, family planning or if they are pregnant. That will get you in trouble. <laughs> All right. So this next one is another big one. I actually know someone uh, who got into a tiny bit of trouble because of this. <laughs> That's why I put it on here because this person... Uh, entrepreneur and you know, really yes and I think they did I'm being that I know them personally I knew there was no malice behind them saying what they said or asking the question but you have to remember you are now an employer so the laws for you are completely different now so when you're dealing with a uh, disability, you well, never want to ask would. the person, have you ever suffered, <laughs> yeah, uh, like a workplace injury? Um, even if they look like they have mm -hmm. a physical limitation, you don't discuss it. Just don't discuss it. I mean, and most people who, um, who are in the job first, the job force, you know, they know that they may have some limitations with certain things uh, and they may bring it up, but it's not something for, for you to bring up as the person that's interviewing for the company. So my suggestion uh, with this is have a good job description handy during your interview. So if the job requires a person to be able to carry 50 pounds, 
put that on the job description and everything else that is going to be uh, done in that job, have them read over it and just have them simply answer, can, can you perform the functions of this, of this position? And then from there, they can say a yes, no, or I can perform this, I can perform this, I can perform that. And then you can go from there. But I would never just outright ask them um, of their, their weight, <laughs> their disability, um, if they've ever followed like workman's comp, don't ask those questions. <laughs> All right, so moving on to like marital and familial status. It's really none of your business if a person is married, single, or have children. It really isn't. Um, <laughs> so you're not permitted to ask any of those questions at all. <laughs> None, right. None. Children. I think <laughs> <laughs> so, and then just real quick, uh, a quick thing of things to never ask about. Never ask about a person's race, uh, which I know means that may sound a little off-putting. Like, well, why can I ask about a person's race? It's because of the perception that that gives. If you ask, oh, are you from such and such? What area, what, oh, is your mother and father this? And uh, it's, it has nothing to do with the job. It really doesn't. So if it's not about the job duties and if they can perform them, don't ask it. <laughs> so, and so this is the list. Yes. Yeah. 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 I didn't, I didn't, that's a new one. That's a new one. Uh, um, yeah. Yeah. It's just best just to keep just to keep away yeah, from here. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, what and you know just is, is what happens. I think so. I don't think anyone that that would be listening to us that owns a business that would be in a situation of interviewing would ever have any malice behind asking such a question because they're probably not that way. But it's just more of the trying to be conversational, but. Now that you're an employer, you just stay away from all these topics. So, all right. So, if you're thinking and you're going, okay, that sounds great, Tiff. Uh, happy that you gave us the uh, information about uh, the questions, but I need a little bit more information. I need someone that understands about human resources. So we have a place for you that you can go to. Uh, if you download the PDF file of the presentation, we have a link right at the bottom of it that goes to a company called Bambi. And Bambi allows you to have an HR manager for yourself and your employees for a very small fee every month. Uh, it does go by the size of employee, employee, the size of your company and how many employees you have, but it can be a very small fee that can keep you from having problems with compliance. So just as, a, as an example, if you're an, em, an employer, you have questions to say, how can I avoid paying unemployment? You have a... Uh, you can email them, you can chat with them, and they will help you with making sure that you're compliant with, with, with the questions that you're asking. Um, they can help you with an employee handbook. Um, they will uh, also be there, not just for you, but it provides an HR department for your employees, which is great. Because if you are a person that you know how to do your job and you're part of the, of the business, you're not really well with dealing with the employee interactions, this is great for you. Because if there is ever an issue that occurs that requires a human resources manager to be involved, your employees can refer to Bambi. 
and then Bambi will keep you apprised of what's going on and give you um, the uh, the information so that you can uh, be compliant and help the employee with whatever situation that they have going on and we'll give you guidance on that so that's one of the one of the things that um, the, that they offer. Uh, if you want to go take around, uh, take take a look at their their website. Go right ahead. As I said, um, it's a nominal fee. If you have a small small business, you're looking at ninety nine dollars a month. More than five employees, then you're looking at close to two hundred dollars a month. Which sounds like say, oh, that's a lot of money. If you get an HR manager, you're paying way more than that. Because an HR manager is going to. Uh, oh, it's okay. <laughs> HR manager is going to cost you way more than that. An HR manager makes anywhere starting at like fifty grand a year. That's just starting out. And if you're like, wait a minute, I can't pay fifty grand a year for someone that's uh, keeping me compliant. Maybe uh, this ninety-nine dollar a month might be the better the better option for you to help you. So click on that link. We'll have that in the description box, and you can get the. Yeah, the yeah. one to four mm -hmm. employees, ninety-nine dollars a month. Not bad. That's not bad at all. Uh, for I'm looking at the website. Yeah, it's. I don't. I think for for a hundred dollars. I mean, basically, you get instead of you know calling friends or other business owners, you know, to bounce things off of because that's. I don't go lie. That's one of the things I do, you know, say, Hey, I got this situation. I got this employee that, <laughs> you know what I mean? Instead of just doing that, you have a place where you can uh, t talk to a person that that's, that's their specialty. That's your HR manager. You can say this uh, situation arose at work. How, what's the best way for me to handle, to handle this situation? Because things happen. You know, <laughs> so especially when you start to hiring people and, you know, people got, you know, mm -hmm. you might hire one person, but they might have two personalities, you know, it's, it happens, you know, things, everyone has a situation of a person at their job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, I used to say when I was a manager, I had a, I used to manage a call center. It was like 30 some people in there. And I used to say, yeah, I managed 32 people, but about 70 personalities. So <laughs> things happen. People clash, you know, you have to, you know, have conflict <laughs> resolution, you know. Uh, I mean, one of the things that just came to mind, unfortunately, just happened last the other night that I'm sure by the mm -hmm. time people see this video, they're going to be talking about too. There was a, a fight at the end of the football game last night. Uh, that's an HR issue. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there was a Thursday night football game between the Pittsburgh uh, Steelers and the Cleveland Browns, and uh, they got the fist of cups last night at the end of the football game. Um, you can't, you best believe HR is getting involved. <laughs> this morning, they hadn't had a meeting already about what happened at the game. You, you know what I mean? So uh, it, it's, it's something that, you know, as you get bigger, you're going to need. You, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm looking. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, I just... I, yeah, I knew about that. <laughs> I didn't realize about the fight. I just saw the score and was like, gosh, Steelers, you did a bad job. And then uh, <laughs> I saw the fight and was like, whoo. And it was not, it is not nice. Like, the guy hit him with uh, his helmet and just hit the quarterback. Oh, wow. Yeah. So... Yeah, that's the lead. There's an HR manager right now going through, okay, we need to talk to everyone oh, wow. involved. It, it was on national TV. You know, uh, it, I know the, they're not, the HR people are not going to be the ones that are, you know, going to be talked about, but they're going to be the ones that are going to guide the league as well as these um, football teams on how we handle this. Hold on, they were winning? Yeah! They were winning in it? Yes! <laughs> yes! That's crazy. Yeah! That's crazy. Uh, yeah, I literally, right before we taped this, I just saw, oh my, I had to look at the video like three times.
times and it's hard to watch. It's hard to watch, but yeah. So mm. I, I looked at that. I was like, and the first thing in my mind was, mm, that's an HR meeting at eight o'clock uh, to talk about this <laughs> because, you know, now they're not going to be, the mm. HR person is not going to be the person that's out in the news talking about it, but the HR person in, or group rather in those, com in those companies are going to be the people that are going to guide the teams on how to handle this. So but uh, there you go. Some this quick overview of some some uh, questions to ask during an interview. So make sure that you don't get in trouble. Keep in mind these are not all of the illegal questions that are um, that are out there. Uh, I would say look at that last slide. Mm -hmm. Just you know, just remember there's certain things you just can't you just can't bring up. You are now an employer, so you have to think like an employer. That's that.